If you've clicked on this video, it's because you want to know how the bunker works in Grand Theft Auto Online. So, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to buy one, how to set one up, how to make money with it, how to do research, basically everything you need to know about the bunker. So first things first, how do you buy one? Open up your phone, come into internet, come up to money and services, down to Mays Bank foreclosures. Once we enter in, come up to the top right hand corner here and filter out for bunkers. And you'll notice there are none in the city. But if we scroll up, you'll see that we've got them all located up around the top of the map. And if you have the Criminal Enterprises starter pack, you will have the one here at Polito Forest for free, which I recommend staying away from. If you also got one at Ratton Canyon here, uh, it's $1.4 million normally. At the time of recording this video, these are discounted. I think it's 30% off. So it's only $1,015,000. I'd stay away from that one though. Also stay away from Graveseed. Normally 1.7 at the time of recording this, it's 1.2 million. But they're in awful locations and whoops, I just backed out. Didn't mean to do that. We've also got this one over here at Lan... Was it Zancudo Bunker? Lago, 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 Zancudo, how you pronounce that, I don't know. 1.5 million, normally at the time of recording this video it is only 1,085,000. I'd stay away from all of those four at the top of the map. These five across here, Thompson Scrapyard, Smoke Tree Road, Grand Sonora Desert, Grand Sonora Oil Fields, Route 68, they're not bad. Again, I'd, I'd probably stay away from those ones though. What you really want is either Chumash if you're short on cash normally 1.6 million the time recording this video when they're 30 percent off 1.1 million but the one i definitely recommend to grab is the one here at the farmhouse it is the most expensive and i already own it so i can't actually show you on this account how much it costs but i do recommend grabbing this one now once you come in bunker style is completely cosmetic i wouldn't worry about this unless you've got lots of money personal quarters i would recommend grabbing Normally 265,000. The time of recording this video is only 185,000. I recommend grabbing this because you can spawn here. The shooting range, pretty much useless. Don't only get it if you've got lots of money. Gun locker, you might have one elsewhere. If you don't, it is normally 175,000. This just helps you clean up your weapons wheel. And the transportation, this one's completely useless. It's actually quicker to run around your bunker than it is to drive this thing around. Normally 85,000 for the cheaper one or 120,000 for the dearer one but we're looking at 59,000 or 84,000 the week I'm recording this as they are on sale but yeah only get this one if you've got money if you've got money to waste grab them if you don't then all you want is the personal quarters if you've got if you've got lots of money do what you want here but if you if you're short on cash only go for the personal quarters and I highly recommend it's back out of here Highly, highly recommend grabbing the farmhouse bunker if you can. So now you know how to buy one. How do you make money with it? Well, first things first, when you first come in here, and I have shown this in episode one of my From the Ditched Filthy Rich series for 2024, I will link that down below. The fir very first thing you do, you come inside, you're going to have to go on a setup mission. So you come into your laptop, I'll just walk over there now. Come to your laptop here. Press right on your D-pad to register as a CEO or a VIP if you don't own an office. Come into your computer and you have to do a setup mission. You'll click here, something will pop up here for setup mission, whatever. You click on that, it will send you out. You're basically just going out to pick up a vehicle and deliver it back. Now once you've done that, you come back in and you've got different tabs here. Resupply. You can click on steal supplies. This will send you out on a mission to go and collect supplies. And you'll notice here I've got a bar of supply levels. You can see it's working its way through right now. The top here is stock level. This is uh, once your supplies have been converted into stock to sell, this bar will increase. As this bar goes down, this bar will increase. When this bar is completely empty, it'll cost you $75,000 to buy supplies and that will completely fill the supply bar up. And when you're stealing supplies, it's not as efficient because you're only going to get about a fifth or about a quarter or about a fifth of the way up so it's going to, you're going to have to do a lot more supply missions in order to fill that supply bar up. So I always recommend buying supplies. However, you're going to want the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade before you do that. And I think from memory it's about 1.1 million for the equipment upgrade. And 
might be six or seven hundred thousand for the staff upgrade. I can't remember the exact prices. However, check out my ditch from the, my from the Ditch to Filthy Rich series because I did go through purchasing these in that episode, the very first episode. And I believe the time recording this video, these are also discounted as well, so feel free to grab those. Now when you come in here to manage staff, you've got the choice of signing all your staff to manufacturing, all your staff to research, or assign them to both. So effectively what that means is manufacturing means they'll convert all your product here into stock that you can sell. Going to research means they'll, they'll convert all your supplies here into research progress. Once this bar completely fills up, it will unlock something under your research menu. So these are all the things that you can unlock and as you can see I've unlocked them all, I have nothing that is locked. These will be selected at random though, for example if you're looking for, let's say you want the uh, minigun here for your, for your Dune FAV. Unfortunately you don't get to pick it, it is completely random which one it unlocks first, but there are lots of different things on here, all weapons for different weaponized vehicles, you've got here liveries as well, and different ammo types, uh, explosive rounds, this is really important for your heavy sniper. So these things are important, um, if you've got lots of money, you've got money coming through other businesses and you don't own the bunker yet, then go ahead and assign all your staff to, to research here. However, if uh, you don't have much money, you don't have many businesses for the time being, assign to manufacturing. Just until you've got a little bit more money, you've got other businesses making you money, then you can come and assign them to research. Now, when you are ready to sell, always sell to Los Santos because it's going to make you the most amount of money. And I highly recommend if you're doing it solo, buy one batch of supplies, wait till it's fully converted, the bar will be about here, and it will be $210,000 normally. Sell that then, because you're guaranteed to always only get one vehicle. If you do feel confident in being able to sell multiple vehicles, uh, sorry, deliver multiple sell vehicles solo, or you've got friends who can help, then let it fill all the way up, because once it's completely full, once your supply, your stock level rather, is completely full, down here it'll cost, it'll uh, make you one million and fifty thousand dollars and you can see here now mine's not all the way full and it says 1.4 that's because at the time of recording this this is paying double money as well so very soon once uh, my stock level is all the way full i am going to sell this in a public lobby solo and i'm going to show you how to do that that will be in a separate video once that video is up i will link it down below otherwise you can just uh subscribe to my channel turn your notifications on and it will you will be notified when that video goes live if it's not already live at the time you're watching this uh so what else do we need to know let's log out of here for the moment this is where your mobile operations center is stored if you choose to buy one to buy one of these you do obviously need to own a bunker come into warstock cash and carry and here it is here now if you're buying one of these I recommend keeping the Phantom Custom unless you've got a bit of extra money, swap it out for the Hauler Custom if you wish. Well, me personally I prefer the Phantom. For Bay 1 I recommend putting in the Command Centre because you can launch some missions from here which don't pay a lot of money but they're, they're fun if you've got someone who can help you out with them. For Bay 2 I recommend the Weapon and, and Vehicle Workshop and the reason for this is this is somewhere where you can customise weaponised vehicles like a Deluxo, a Vigilante, uh, in the last episode of From the Ditch to Filthy Rich I showed swap, uh, converting the Insurgent Custom in, into, was it, no sorry, the Insurgent, Insurgent Pickup into the Insurgent Pickup Custom and weaponising that using this vehicle workshop. Now that does mean that Bay 3 you're not going to be able to select anything because Bay 2 is a double bay. Then your interior colour just changes the colour, completely cosmetic, I wouldn't worry about that. So when you come into your MOC over here, Hello. this is where you can upgrade weapons to Mark II weapons, which I've already done for all of my weapons as you can see. Like a brand new weapon. Trust me. Come through into the front here. Oops, where is it? Right there. And this is where we can access all the different missions that are available through your MOC. And like I said, they don't pay that well, but they are fun if you've got someone who can help you out with them. 
And over here behind the MOC is your anti-aircraft trailer. To buy one of these, you open up your phone, come into Warstock Cash and Carry. Scroll all the way down, and here it is here for $1.4 million. Now you will need a vehicle with a with a uh, tow bar on the back of it, something like the Night Shark can tow this. And then you can have a, have a friend hop on the back here and shoot down anything in the sky that's chasing after you. Now another way to make money is here. Every 48 minutes this truck will spawn here. You basically walk up to a press right on your D-pad and this will send you on a cell mission. We're basically delivering excess weapons to any ammunition. Okay. So once you come out, open up your pause menu. You can see that this is not too bad of a location, nice and close. There's another ammunition here which is nice and close as well. But if you get one all the way up, let's say, Polito Bay here. Or we've got to come all the way across the map here to this one here, or oh, we're coming all the way down the bottom here. If it's too far away, you can just go to a new invite only session, or hop out of the uh, vehicle and blow it up using your rockets. What will happen is that a brand new vehicle will spawn back inside your bunker and then you can deliver it. So for this one, we're just going to drive straight to the ammunition. Now you will get NPCs come after you most of the time. I just like to use sticky bombs, throw it out the back. Okay, <laughs> throw sticky bombs down to blow them up. See, like that. So here we go, delivering it to the ammunition. That only took 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Even being chased by the NPCs. And that pays you $50,000. And like I said, you can do that every 48 minutes. Now another thing you can do if you're doing the research through your bunker is open up your phone and call Agent 14. I'm waiting. Once he picks up you can request bunker sure, research and this will send you on a mission where we need to go pick up some research data and deliver it back to the bunker. As you get close your rockets will lock on, you can see mine locking on here, take a few of the uh, police out, particularly the helicopter, and a couple on the ground there, and eventually we're going to lock on to the juggernaut. Right there he is there with the red arrow, so just fire away three or four times, take him out. Once you take him out, fly down and land, hop off the oppressor, walk up to him and press right on your D-pad. This will collect the research data we need and then deliver this back to the bunker. Now you are going to have a wanted level and you cannot call Lester to get rid of the cops on this one, so you do need to lose it the old-fashioned way. Just fly up nice and high, so out of the vision cones of the cops. And once you've lost the cops, just head back to your bunker. And once you get back, that will be the mission completed. Now at the time of recording this video, there is a bonus when it comes to the research. If you come down to Special Tops, where are we? Scroll down a little bit further. Come into Brands, scroll down, and the Warstock T here. This is an exclusive. If you complete three of those bunker research missions, you are going to receive this t-shirt for free and I do believe that this is exclusive, this is the only way you can get it. This is between August 29 and September 4 of 2024. So if you are watching this between those dates you can come and do three of those research missions and collect that t-shirt. When you're ready to sell your bunker come and hop down at your laptop just here. Once you log in come to sell stock and as I said earlier always sell to Los Santos. Now, if you are only doing one full supply bar, you are guaranteed to get only one vehicle, as I said before. The different vehicles you can get is a Phantom Wedge, where you are towing a trailer, and that'll be one single drop. You can get an Insurgent with one drop. You can get an Insurgent with five drops. You can get a Monster Truck, which will be five drops, or the June Buggies, which will be five drops. Now, if you are selling it as a full your stock level is full all the way full that will spawn multiple vehicles for the phantom wedges you will spawn two for the insurgents with a single drop you will spawn three and both of those are very easy to do solo however if you get the insurgents with the five drops and you get three of them 
I'd recommend going to a new invite only session and even with the new increased timer that you've got to do these sell missions since the bottom dollar bounties DLC it is still not worth it uh, the insurgents can be with the five drops can glitch out and you're going to have enemies to kill at each drop as well don't recommend doing it at all if you've got the monster trucks it'll be three with five drops and it depends on which side of the map they spawn you can get them spawning on the same side as your bunker if you've got the farmhouse bunker or they can spawn on the same side where the true match bunker is so depending on which bunker location you have which one they spawn on they can be very easy to do or it can be difficult to do and if you get the June buggies, or even with the increased timer, I'd recommend just new invite only session as well. They are a big pain, and I don't even like getting those when I'm doing a single uh, vehicle cell mission. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the bunker. How to make money with it, how to do your research, everything you need to know. Now, I am going to do another video once my supplies have fully converted into stock. Once my stock bar is all the way full, I'm going to do a video showing how to sell a full bunker completely solo in a full public lobby so if you want to see that video if you're not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on and you'll be notified when that video goes live otherwise if you're watching this in the future and that video is already up it will be linked down below in the description so check that out now if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and as i said before if you are new you're not subscribed please consider hitting that subscribe button we're aiming for a thousand subscribers we're getting pretty close so help me out there and i'll see you in the next video cheers